Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this trailer. This is um, a trailer to Arabic grammar and Tarkib course. Those who are interested in going in depth learning about Arabic grammar, course is ideal for them. How does the course work? Let me just give you a bit of background about why we need to study Arabic grammar. So let's take the Quran for example. So the verses of the Quran are in Arabic language and you know you, if you want to understand the translation you can read the translation but if you want to understand it on your own you need to study Arabic grammar in detail. So let's take a verse for example. So in this verse you can see you have words. Um, you also have vowels. So these vowels or these harakat as, as they're known are very important in uh, understanding the meaning of the verses themselves. So whenever you want to understand any Arabic text, you need to understand the words themselves. Right now words, there's two aspects. You need to understand the meanings of the words themselves, which is basically to do with understanding of how to use a Arabic dictionary. And secondly, you need to understand the types of the words, the groups of the words, the different um, words or rules or terminology that you get in Arabic grammar. So this is what Arabic grammar is all about, is breaking all of this down into sections. And this is the structure, as you know, you can see on the screen now. This is, for example, iqtaraba is a verb, hisabuhum is the subject, and uh, the word linnas is actually supposed to appear after hisabuhum according to Arabic rules. However, by bringing it forward, this applies another rule where the meaning slightly changes. The wow over here, this wow can come of different meanings in the Arabic language. As you might be aware here, it comes for hal, which is the state of the word before. And hum, this is a pronoun. We're going to learn about pronouns, different rules regarding them. And it, here it occurs as a mubtada. And then you have fi ghaflatin mu'lidun. This is two possibilities here, what this could be. You could have, you know, two khabars here. Um, if you've studied Arabic grammar, you know the two khabars. And also it's possible that Mu'ridun can be the khabar and Hum is the Mubtada. So in between the Mubtada and the khabar you have these two words Fi Ghaflatin. So Fi Ghaflatin here can occur as the Hal. That's one possibility because it was supposed to occur after the word Mu'ridun. But by bringing it forward you can treat it as the Hal. Now it becomes a state and that will affect the meaning of the sentence as well. And Another possibility is also that it becomes the sifa. Okay, sifa, if it was, um, you know, connected to the word after it, mu'ridun. That was another possibility of what it could have become. And so all of this sentence here, you, you break all of this down into all these little sections. This is what we call the tarkib. And then the whole sentence itself, it's a, what we call a jumla fi'liya, a fi'l, verb-based sentence. So we learn all about this. And then you can apply this not only to the Quran, but also to other texts as well. So what we're going to be covering is we're going to be covering 40 hadith, right? The 40 hadith that I've selected, we're going to be learning the meanings of the hadith. And not only that, but we're also going to be applying the hadith, uh, in the rules, sorry, to the hadith. Okay, now after we've covered all of this, what do we learn after the, inshallah, after the end of the lessons? So... Number one, the first and foremost thing that you're going to learn in studying all of this is you learn how to understand the Arabic grammar. Okay, so rules of Arabic grammar, in-depth rules with their terminology. Um, you know, you learn all of that. It's very, very important, especially if you're really keen on reading other types of books as well. So Arabic grammar. Number two, you also be learning um, how to structure sentences. So using the Arabic grammar rules you've learned, the tarkib as we call it. Number three, what you'll be learning is how to apply um, rules not only to the hadith that we've learned but also to Quran and also to other Arabic texts out there. You know, whatever you're interested in, you can apply it to that, read those as well. Um, and finally, stu students will be able to study um, the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, which is also something very, very important, becoming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, understanding the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. So if you're interested in this, you know, enroll, it's going to be very beneficial inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.